Good afternoon, Bay Nation. Welcome to another episode of Fantasy Bay. I'm your host, Mike Williams, and today we're going over the waiver wire for week 11. Do you need a quarterback? I might be able to help you out. Pushing all the personal and out of football things aside, Deshaun Watson is a great football player and he will be coming back soon. So if you don't need a quarterback this week and you need one for the future, Deshaun Watson is going to be a good ad. He's great with his legs, throws the ball well. He hasn't played football in forever, but I do think he should come back and be pretty good. If you need a quarterback this week, Taylor Heineke. I know he didn't play well last week at Philadelphia, but that's a bad matchup. He's going against Houston. They're not good. Start up Taylor Heineke if you're desperate for a quarterback. And last but not least, Daniel Jones. He's going against the Detroit Lions. Enough said. Fire him up. Is your team one running back away from vaulting you into the playoffs? Don't worry, I got you. Rashad White, been telling y'all to pick him up for weeks and it looks like Leonard Fournette is banged up. Now I do think Leonard Fournette is going to come back, but he has been more involved in the offense and I do think that they're gonna get him more touches. Now he's on a bye this week, so people may not be looking out for him, mainly because he's not gonna have any projected points, but you're smarter than that. You're gonna find him way down at the bottom of the list. Snag you up a diamond in the rough. Gus Edward coming off of that injury in a bye. I do believe he's healthy this week. I don't know if you want to start him, but he's definitely going to be somebody you want on your team because the Ravens love to run the ball. And Gus Edwards is going to be that dude. I also like Jalen Warren, Isaiah Pacheco, and Alexander Madison. Cook has a tough time staying healthy. Waiver wire wide receivers that may save your season. Christian Watson. He blew up this week. Three touchdowns over 100 yards. He, he did have a couple of drops though. But Rodgers went right back to him. That shows that he's gaining some confidence in the kid. He's worth an ad. Kadarius Tony is an absolute beast athletically. And now he's getting an opportunity on the Chiefs. You definitely want to grab him on your team if you're in need of a receiver. Paris Campbell is getting the targets. And now he's getting the touchdown. He's had a touchdown in three of the last five games. And Matt Ryan's back. He seems like Paris Campbell. And so should you. I also like Donovan Peoples-Jones. Darius Slayton, who's been pretty solid recently. Traylon Burke and Odell Beckham Jr. are solid stashes. And don't sleep on Deontay Carter if you need a spot start. Waiver wire tight ends that could set your team up for success. Tyler Higby. If Tyler Higby's out on your waiver wire, you definitely want to grab him because Cooper Cup just went down and all those targets have to go somewhere. I also like Hayden Hurst, who was probably dropped when he went on by. Jawan Johnson seems to be getting some work. Three out of the last four weeks, double digit for a fantasy tight end. Not bad. And Isaiah likely is a fringe starter, depending on Mark Andrews' status. But if Mark Andrews sits, Isaiah likely could be useful. Do you need a defensive streamer? Don't worry. I got you. The New York Jets. Going up against New England. I don't think New England's going to be a high-scoring game. Also, the Jets have been pretty solid defensively. If they're out there, the New York Giants. They're going against Detroit. And I think that should be a pretty solid matchup. And the Washington defense gave the Eagles trouble. How do you think they're going to do against Houston? Fire them up. So that's going to do it for my waiver wire episode for week 11. Hit me up if you have any questions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below. Good luck on the wire this week. Peace.